All right, guys, I'm back with my second coaching session of the day. Um, this guy, I believe he is silver. Uh, he plays controllers. We talked exactly about what agency he might want to play. I think he, he's interested in, interested in playing Vi uh, Viper, Astra, Sage, and Sky right now. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Yo. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? No bad, no bad. Okay, cool. Um, so, we were talking about what agents you might want to stick to. Have you yeah. made a decision for like the session today for what agent you want to play? Uh, I was just gonna, I was thinking of just like choosing the agent depending on the map, but. Yeah, okay, that, that's fine that's as okay. well. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so any questions before we get started? <laughs> you, are you silver uh, or gold, really... by the way? I can't remember. I'm gold one right now. Okay, perfect. So yeah. Um, I think you've been warming up, so you can go ahead and share your screen if you want. We can get started. Do you have any idea what your main problem or like the main thing you might want to focus on is? Honestly, like, this is my first FPS game that I've ever played, so I'm never like expecting my aim to be like top tier or anything, so. Okay. I want to focus fine. on like game sense and ability usage as much as possible. I guess. Like okay. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, sure. Uh, we can do that. Again, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to probably be teaching you mainly whatever agent you're playing. Um, if you continue to flex, it's going to be uh, important for you to think about how how you can do what I told you on that agent and do it on other agents as well. Yeah. So. Makes sense. Uh, you can go ahead and queue. I'm guessing comp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I usually, um, I'll usually talk maybe a little bit during rounds, but I try not to talk too much so you can just kind of focus on playing. And between rounds, I will give you what I think should be the main takeaway from that round or what you did wrong or what you did good, stuff like that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Match found. I didn't have much time to warm up, so I gotta see how this goes, but. That's fine, you're good. We don't, I haven't got split uh, in a while. Also, if you're... Yeah. I'm not sure if you're nervous, but usually people I'm are... quite nervous. <laughs> yeah, people are, are pretty nervous. Just breathe. Just treat this as a normal game. Do what you normally do. And... Um, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be fine. Especially after a yeah. few runs. So Sage is really good on this map, so is Astra. Yeah, I played Sage and Astra mainly on this map. Sky's also Listen. Sky's pretty good on yeah, almost Sky's... every map, but yeah. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I I mean so is Astra. Sage is not, but yeah. I'm using Sage pretty much good on decent at least on every map except maybe Breeze. I don't know. Yeah, it's or... kinda tough to play it on Breeze. Um Yeah, you can definitely make it work. There are ways to make it work on most maps. Breeze is just very large, so yeah. it's kind of hard. This is one of her best maps, along with Icebox. So Astra, um, we're really going to want to be thinking about using your stun and your suck to um, to hit enemies that are pushing certain areas. That's really important. Obviously, smoking yep. stuff is also really important, but we will see. That's the hard part, really, is like managing all of those abilities at once and putting down your stars at good times or at the beginning of the round and having good placements on them. I mean, I haven't really watched that many videos, so I'm just like, pretty much, try doing what makes sense to me. I don't know. That's Stuff that's like perfect. That. That's all you can do. Just do your best with what you have. Yeah. So looks like you're in a plot game. So that's how have you been performing since you've ranked up? Uh, um, I have to I have to be honest. Uh, I've been playing with like my friends that are plats, and like Please because I was silver, I couldn't play with them, so they went on their like silver gold accounts. Yeah. I go gold one that way, so... Oh, okay. Let's see how this goes. Sure. Okay. I did get silver three last season, though, so... Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you can perform in this game. So, instantly, what's your... You should have a goal here. What I would be thinking, where should I be sucking? Where should I be putting my stars down? Usually, when I place, like, one at the start. Yeah, well, um, it kind of depends where we're going, mm -hmm. so... So you can you can tell your team where you want to go. 
You don't have to, but I can talk uh, about usually, that later. It's like one thing I'm really bad. Like I just go try with the flow. And support. Yeah, go with the flow. I guess it makes sense. Remaining. Um, you, you most likely could have stuck the spike there because the molly actually missed. Um, yeah. you don't really need to go for a fight there. But it was it was okay. You did you actually did pretty good with your utility though. So, uh, one one thing though is I know you said you like to go with the flow. Um, do you not like saying like certain communicate? You know, do you not like communicating very much? Either. Well. Uh... No, I don't like. I'm really bad at communicating, to be honest. Like, I no, I don't even know the map locations and shit. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh that's my un god. That's unlucky. <laughs> so um. Oh, shit. So I have to. Uh, I have one... to really say though, like when I when I get really nervous, my hands start shaking, and then like my aim is dog shit. Yeah, that that's okay. We'll work with it. I'm just gonna be looking at the um, utility mechanical stuff, like your positioning. So I'm getting like network problem for some reason. Don't know why. Could be the stream, but no, um, I, I stream to my friends every once in a while on Discord. So we're gonna wanna we can buy in more stars here. I think two. Two, yeah. Two kind of wanna save our next round though. So, I know you said you like this. What is that skin? I've never seen that never skin seen before. Seen that before yeah. Um, so I would suggest. So hit B. Oh, you can't hit B. So you can buy down to thirty nine hundred. Um, you can buy more stars. You don't necessarily have to use the stars this round, right? Like, the point yeah, is, yeah. if you if you get into a position where using them would win you the round, you want to have them. Makes Otherwise, sense. you can just save yeah. them until the next round. True. Um, so you can buy now. You can call for- you can go for- for an A push here. Also, I'm gonna critique your go with the flow mentality later. It's okay not to calm every round, like, where you wanna go. Yeah. But going- you can actually make the flow, if that makes sense. Like, you can start where the flow goes, just by saying, let's- I'm gonna start A. That's all you really need to say. But, you're gonna wanna smoke for your team here. Can suck somewhere. Go to target to stop pulling them in. Reloading. I would ask. I would ask for a heal. And ask your team. Ask your team to rotate. Honestly. You, you know, there's one um, screens. One enemy remaining. Spike down A. Okay. Um, your 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 smokes are very good. The best spots you could have put them. I have the spike. And your suck was pretty good too. Another one I like doing also is like back here. Like kinda. the pole. Yeah. It's kind of hard to put a bad uh, suck because like as long as you think about where they can be. Let's go, let's go mid here. You don't really. I would tell my team let's go mid, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I would request I would request a gun and buy a whole bunch of stars. Reloading. Uh, I'll you be don't... fine with the Spectre now. I don't feel like my maybe my aim will be back later on. Okay, buy uh, buy another let's star. Let's go mid. I'll, uh, I'll smoke top mid. <clears throat> Fuck. You're good. You're good. 
Reloading. Someone is mid. Connor, both you. You can ask Grace to ult. And you can pull. I need to stop. Pulling them in. One's hell. Oh, never mind. That was only one there. You have, you have stun. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, he was hell. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how your Rana didn't see him. So yeah, like for that, that's a perfect example of where you'd want to say like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stun, don't peek. Yeah. I know it's not comfortable, but really it's it's not a matter of being comfortable, it's a matter of Oh my god, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cuz like your your sage died because um because of that. But and you did you did pretty good that run. You used your utility. Well. Don't feel bad requesting. You can ask Granite to buy you. And buy it, buy all your stars. Yep. Also, you have wall now. You probably want to use wall to go B, maybe. Grab spike. You can wall. Maybe. Uh... Wait, what? Uh, that's Shit. actually fine. Believe it or not, that's fine. <clears throat> Obscuring vision out of the charges. You can either call to rotate A or you can re hit. Oh, your sage is dead. I think he could have smoked that before you guys went out. That's like one thing I feel like I struggle with. Like, sure, I can like put decent smokes like at the start of the round, but then after that, like, I forget that I have a and shit. Yeah, I noticed that with your stun. Like, maybe instead of trying to like pull at the, the beginning of every round, try to like use your smokes, but then save, uh, save pull to help your teammates, like, whenever they actually see someone. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, you can can buy. I, I'm, I'm not sure your team doesn't want to buy you. Um, yeah, this is fun. This is fine. I would go, I'll go mid again. Maybe ask for a mid. Push. Because we've gone B three times and we've lost, I think, every time. So. I don't want to go alone with the spike mid though. Yeah, it's okay. You have this actually you can't use it, huh? Good try. So yeah. We wanna go mid. Um your team's automatically going B. If we can stop that, that's gonna be really good. Also I'm curious why you're reluctant to calm. Do you feel like you're worse than the, your teammates so you don't wanna like uh like change how they play, if that makes sense? Yeah. I mean that's just what I'm used to because like Sure, Ever since I started friends. playing, like, I played with a plat friend that's like plat something now. Like, he plays a lot of unrated, so he's always in like immortal lobbies and shit. Yeah, sure. So, so we definitely want to change that a little bit. You don't have to. You don't have to be saying like everything, but just if you can get to the habit of saying like, "Let's go mid, guys. I'll I'll smoke." Some basic yeah. things, like you got a deep voice, people are gonna listen to you. So. 
You can just smoke the vents again. I'm going above. Go to target S. Concealment. We can we can break that. So this is uh, this is why Astra is uh, considered very difficult because there's a lot you have to manage and knowing exactly when to throw smokes and stuff like you said is kind of hard in the middle of the round. Yeah. Um, also, on this map, you really if you're gonna go mid, you really want to break the wall like instantly. If I see a stage wall, I'm gonna instantly start shooting it as soon as I can. Just because yeah, the longer. Just, yeah, go ahead. This is weird. This is weird pistol, so. I don't like shooting him. Yeah, that, I don't know. That's fair. But, and I think like, it's also fine. Yeah, it's understand like if we have rifles, like I always shoot immediately. Thirty seconds okay. left. Okay, that's fair. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep talking about your comms, but uh, not right now, just because I think that's gonna be important for you going from gold into Ten plat left. Yeah. um so sorry if it's a little annoying but i think it is important i feel like also like one of the big things just like learning to like control like nerves because like my hands start like shaking really easily and i just can't aim at all yeah but, like if i go to deathmatch like i actually feel like i'm decent at aiming but in unrated in comp i'm just garbage yeah i think also probably because we're in this game um or because i'm um you know, because we're having a coaching session, it's probably a little harder. Also, I kind of want to have you go sewers to mid here, but not not yet, not not right now. You could do an extra run. <clears throat> so we can break the stage all this run. That's okay. You got traded. You can ask. For, you get res. You get res. Yeah, she's gonna do it. We really don't want to go B. We can't win B so far. So we have we have two stars. Well, it seems like they're going there. Where did he die? He was um, male. Let's go here. Recovering it. Recovering it. I don't know. Maybe I should just fake that smoke, perhaps. You could have, yeah. Smoke, yeah. Obscuring, blocking vision. Thirty seconds left. Last Spike player down. standing. Spike down A. Good try. <clears throat> I would have, um, I would have ran up closer to your stage, but it's kind of hard because you had to smoke. So. Yeah. You also could have walked up ramp after she died. I don't know. Um, hmm. So <clears throat> we can. Uh, it seems like it seems like we just keep buying. Yeah, we can. We can go for uh, sure if you want. This is fine too. This is fine. Yeah. I'm just feeling because he's. Because everyone's buying, yeah. I'm gonna try to get a phantom here. I don't know why your team wants to keep buying. Last 
Um. Spike down A. One enemy remaining. <clears throat> I actually noticed something, by the way. Whenever you buy, uh, you, you almost always sit and spawn. So this oh. tells this tells me a couple things. Uh, one, it tells me that I, I want you to have a plan at the start of the round. So like, whenever you buy, you, you should be moving like toward where you want to go. Um, I know it's a lot right now because you're in a, you know, we're in a session. I'm telling you other things, but try to just kind of move toward whatever site your team's going or wherever you want to call that you want to go, basically. Mm -hmm. And then have a plan for like what you want to smoke, Blood stuff like that. Makes sense. I feel, I feel like that's more like when I play with my friends because they're like telling me like what we're gonna do, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time, but. Okay. Nice well played. <clears throat> you guys got three more rounds here. You can wall. Just say, I'm gonna wall A, guys. That's all you have to say. Alright. I'm gonna wall A. And then that tells your team, alright, we should group up toward A. And... Yeah. Maybe, maybe buy a Sheriff, and then pick up one of your teammates' guns, and then you can buy an extra run. Alright. That's fine. You could also have sold a star. Checking the situation. Well divided. Obscuring vision. Nice, we can go. Good. We have stars now we want to use. You should run. One enemy remaining. Good job. I know it's it's hectic, there's a lot of stuff going on. So there what I would suggest. Um okay, good. now we're moving moving toward the site at the start. What I would have suggested is once you got in cleared site. I would have uh, gone into astral form and placed some more stars down, just so you have those to work with when you're fighting. Because yeah. you had four left. Yeah, true. One thing I like doing is like putting two on the spike and then like sucking and stunning at the same time. Yes, that's that's pretty good to do for sure. It makes people get off. I need to stop. Concealment. Concealment. Reloading. Reloading. Pardon the risk. One thing I don't like is like, I always put my smokes and no one goes inside, everyone goes ramps. Yep. This is gonna be where, um, communicating is also very valuable. I think we should rotate, there's like three people here. Your sage is on site. Okay, we're just better. You can suck- okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. One thing I would like to see is, um, you, you, always, you do a really good job putting your smokes. I'm, if I had to guess, you probably know where to put your smokes on almost every map. Mm, somewhat. It's because I played a lot of Omen, so it's yeah. pretty much the same one. Astra. Yeah, it's like automatic. So yeah. now, since we're on Astra, that's a little bit of a change, right? You have other abilities too. Yeah. When you, after you smoke, you really want to think, where should I, where could I, where could I suck that it would like actually affect an enemy? And I, I'm wondering where this skin is. Never seen this before. Huh. <laughs> what oh my. So yeah, you wanna. We don't have to worry about it right now too much, but it's something I'll show you after the game. Honestly, I'm just gonna put smokes down and not. Play. It's okay. Yeah, oh, it's fine. Oh, we should call for rotate. You could put a suck on the KO body. Shit. Oh, you're your son. Never mind. My bad. Wait. Okay. Nice. I got you two assists. So yeah, <laughs> the thing about Aster is you really, you kind of can just hide in a corner for the whole game and still have the most impact out of everyone. Yeah. Um. So where do you like to play here on defense? 
Honestly, yeah. Probably the most. Okay. I like putting like uh, either like. How is this map fucked off? Okay, yeah, like one one smoke here, then another here. I can't see your cursor. Oh, okay. Well, A main basically, so they can't like. So if I'm watching from A screens, they I can see them that they cannot go to like A ramps. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see this. Okay. You can go ahead and um, start to rotate here. You can put a suck. Okay, that's fine too, actually. This is a perfect time to throw your suck. You saw three on the mini map. Shit. Good try. Last player standing. Is shooting too low? Whenever your teammates die, does that make you like panic a little bit? Uh, I'm really bad at like looking at stuff like that. Like I don't even notice that they die. Okay. Like, like even there, like I don't know if you noticed, I was trying to look at the map, like where the enemies are. Yeah. But then when I went to Astro Form, I was like, what the fuck? Like, what am I looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, I was wondering no why idea. you got out of it there. That's what I was trying to ask. Yeah. Um, basically, it's. It's less about like where the enemies are exactly, and more about like where enemies are more like mo where do enemies most commonly sit on like whenever the spike goes down. And so if you don't know, I'll, I'll just be showing you afterward. So here we can play shorty. You ever play shorty? Shorty, mm, rarely. Okay, let's Maybe go if for I go it. Into, like, go go a ramp. Play. Take a ramp. Yeah, go close a ramp and buy a buy a star. Okay, good. Now we're moving. Yeah, walk up really close. You're going to play really, really close with a shorty. And if they run up to ramp, you can get at least one is your goal. All right. Like here? Yep, yep. Looks like they are... Okay, yeah. Now you can throw the suck for your team. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Free kill. Very good job. Good. So new weapons here. Just hide, just hide. <clears throat> Good try. Really, honestly, I probably would have kept the shorty. Mainly because we really just don't, we don't want to peek there. Uh, cause, yeah. Because you know, you know they have. Just wait. Yeah. We had the spike, so like we can just chill there. You have the spike, and they also have guns, and you don't. So. <laughs> uh oh. One enemy remaining. Good job, but you do realize that the the pull that you did at the beginning mm -hmm. is probably why yeah. hopefully you win this round. But if you don't win, still it's really really good free kill. Usually whenever there's a star. The enemies will just walk onto it, not really thinking much in this rink. There's no way you can make it to A, right? He, left. he will. Spike planted. Sure. I don't know if he's low, but I believe in this guy. Oh, no. mm. Nice. Let's go. So now they've gone B twice. What we're really expecting is um, an A hit. Yeah, and also if you feel bad about your score, don't feel bad. Like you said, one of your main roles is playing support. So if you ever feel bad because you're at the bottom, you can look at your assists. Uh, you have a lot of assists, so that's a good sign as well. As long as you're smoking, you're having an impact. This character is broken. And you're also against some higher ranks, so you know, don't feel too bad, Joel. Good, I like the two stars, because if you, you smoke and then if they run through, you have a, a suck as well. Either is good. Yep. I'll, I'll save them for now. That's fine. I, I really don't know why I'm getting network problems, though. Need that back. 
taking that back. Yeah. Call that they're going A. They're going sewers. Yeah, rotate, rotate. Put it, put a star as well. Hey. We, we can sucker stun the. I'll walk up. Never mind. This is fine. Yeah, catch this guy off right here. Keep walking. He's gonna be close. Oh good my job. god. You're good. No panic. You got it. One enemy remaining. Good job. So yeah, the reason I wanted you to walk up is because I didn't think she would expect you, and sure enough, she didn't. No. Now I think they're gonna go B, mid or B, so I would put two stars maybe to start on B, and just like one on A. And... Yeah. I don't know what's going on, getting like, low client FPS and... F hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. It could be the stream. I'm not. You said if you stream your friends, though, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like, I stream for my friends often and I never get any problems. Let's put our stars. Yep. Right there. That'll work. We can, we can pull. This is a really good pull. Pulling them in. You're good. It's it's a trade. So yeah, uh, pulling and, and then peeking off of it is always <laughs> kind of can't go wrong with it. To be honest. Yeah. Careful now. How close are you to your ult? Um. Uh. One, one orb. Okay. So we can play ramp again, and if they're not A, you can grab the Take orb. Take this orb? Yeah. yeah. Just like that right there. Oh, you can... It wants to res you. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you don't have stars. That's unfortunate. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Oh, you have smoke for that though. Very good. Recovering it, healing you. Consume it. Oh, I don't have a timer on it. Shit. You can pull main. Just pull that. Last player standing. Good try. One enemy remaining. Cage triggered. Cage triggered. Nice. Cypher's so playing pretty well, to be honest, I feel. Yeah, he's won some rounds, for sure. Clutch. Clutch. <laughs> you copies of nothing. Look your enemy in the eye. It helps with accuracy. Okay, so now, Oof. whenever they're pushing, I want you to, like, instantly try to think what a good astral wall could be, and try to place it. <laughs> Or we can just use it for retake if they're not coming in. I'm like, I'm probably the wall is what I use the least, obviously. With okay, this it's very, it's so very I powerful. Really to use it. Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. Oh, oh my God, that must have been some lucky shots. One enemy remaining. Okay, nice. So if they play two, if they play two A, I think you should go toward B, B heaven. Um, if not, you can just keep. You can go like Vince, honestly. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go B heaven, B heaven. I feel they're gonna come B. Yeah. And I feel since they just did that, that they can handle it. I want you to put your stars. Still continuing to put stars. Beautiful. 
right there. I am with you. We are strong. She's rolling that, so. You hear them? You can go and smoke a beat, be mean. Blocking vision. And then get ready to suck. You can suck. Pulling them in. Yes, let's go. Stun, stun, yep. Good job, man. He's up, he's up, he's on site. One enemy remaining. Spike down. Go for it, get the 4k. He's probably gonna go mid. Good job. You're already you're already improving with the suck. Yeah. That's very really well done. So we can go back to A now. You see, as a duelist, we really don't wanna we wanna be swapping around a lot, but as Astro, we, we don't wanna swap as much, but that doesn't mean we should never swap around. Yeah. Okay, so your team's playing three. That's why I wouldn't be on Let's go let's go backside B, backside B. Okay. Just in case they go B. I feel like they're gonna go A, but you never know. So you can hide there and then swing off of your pull. Yeah. Do I like just jiggle peek this or? I would sit back site, but they're gonna go. Okay. I'll show you in a custom game. Obscuring vision, recovering it. You will not kill my allies. You are powerless. I want you to try to use this wall, even though it's weird. Don't peek. Oh Just put the wall. Put the wall. Any any which way is fine. Um, it's okay. No idea how to use it. Spike planted. Can you suck if you don't use the wall? Good try. Yeah, I could have sucked that box. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you don't need to peek there until you can you suck at least. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. And also, That's true. so we can. <clears throat> We can probably expect them to go again now. And again, how you suck to B main, you can do the same thing A main. Yeah. Double star it. Can I get a drop? Honestly, you can double star both A main and B main and then- other, other thing I do also is like put the smoke here and then here, if I play more passively, maybe back here on side, but- Yeah, th those are- The one back sites a uh, little more like- Only sometimes, but the rest of them are pretty good. Pretty solid. Those two are perfectly fine. Go in the box here. Uh, here? Yep, yep, yep. Don't, don't peek. You can just, uh... You can just wait. Can wait for them to run up, kill the guy, and then pull. After you kill the guy that's walked up ramp. Okay. If they might not be coming up, though. I'm just yeah. gonna use them. Yeah, that's good. This spot's very good. Sounds like they might be waiting for you to peek, or they might be leaving. Yeah. They might be rotating, just put the wall back. Still might all be here though as well. Yeah. One's mid, one's mid. He could be behind you already. Vince. They're going B. Could be Vince. Ah, split safe. You got the, you got the smoke for main, smoke main. One enemy remaining. Where is? I thought. Reloading. Did it good. Let's do the same thing on A again, honestly. So I know, just just try to just try to imagine where you could use the wall. It's it's. Better to throw a bad one, honestly. I than... feel like maybe just being able to like, like wall wall horizontally like where the barriers, here. yeah, is is good, because then it forces them to run out. So like, wait, like from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's perfect. It works on the whole map. Just do that straight on the. No, if if you map? hear them, if you hear them, if you see like two of them. 
Looks like they're not here, so you, you can put the double suck there. Smoke it. Suck it. Yeah, suck it. Yes, you got two. Let's get it. Surely gets the other one. One back sight. You can stun back sight. Oh, I could have stuck here. One enemy remaining. Spike down B. Watch heaven. Could be spawn as well. Gonna knife him. GG. Nice. So GG will play. I'm I'm happy and I'm impressed with your uh like when you suck whenever you suck whenever they come out is like really valuable, really important. Yeah. So let's take a look at their ranks real quick. And then I'll uh I'll open up a custom game. Okay. I think some of them were X plat though. So it's quite off quite like common here to be honest. Yeah. Okay, you can stop screen sharing. I will start. Yep. So any questions about that game? Well Honestly like um as far as ability usage I was like honestly surprised with myself that I played better than I was expecting. Yeah, so I think I think a little confidence is gonna go a long way for you. Yeah. Um, and I think you can build that confidence pretty easily. Because, like, it's it's through getting those sucks like that that you realize is actually very impactful that'll build your confidence. But if you're not if you're not trying to, like, do new things where you, like, put those sucks or, you know, like, stuns. I noticed you, you sucked a lot, but sometimes you would suck and then not ever use stun. So I kind of had to tell you that, but yeah. I'll, I'll keep emphasizing that here. Uh, can you see, by the way? It's yeah. loading. Low screen here. Yeah, okay. I like so, stuff, but this place no I wrote a bunch of stuff down, I'll send it to you at the end. Um, so, let's see. So, I'm just gonna talk about putting your stuns for the most part. The biggest thing I think you need to work on is calming, is communicating. Yep. But, again, I've already said this multiple times. Um, I, I think like also as in like now that I'm playing Astro like map like like learning to like use the map is really important as well. That's yes. something I'm, I feel like I'm also pretty bad with. Yeah, like this is the same thing as the mini map, it's just like 3D. So yeah, and it's like pink, so it's kind of weird. But um, as I mean, the more you play, you kind of just have a feel for the whole map, and yep. you'll get a feeling for what you should do when at certain times. But the reason that I think the way that you're gonna get better at communicating is gonna be actually building your confidence as well. So confidence is really kind of like the main thing here that I've seen yeah. through this game. Um, Cause there's a lot of times, I think if you just maintained your composure and uh, remained calm and collected, you probably would have been better off. Whereas I think you like panicked a little bit in certain scenarios, which is completely okay to do. Panicking's a normal thing. It's like, that's, uh, that's like what my friends always tell me like, like, uh, just like just general experience playing the game i guess and then just confidence yes yeah because like they're like i have like plats diamonds and one immortal friend and like we play like deathmatch 1v1s and i like, my aim is actually decent there but then when i jump into like a game I'm just panic yeah that's much. like the biggest downfall of playing deathmatch for most people is that they don't realize uh they don't realize that deathmatch like the things you do in deathmatch should be how you're doing them in the game. Like, obviously, yeah. you shouldn't run around like a, a crazy person just trying to go for kills in a game. But the way that you peek, the way that you fight people, and the, mm -hmm. the way that you take fights should be, like, very similar uh, as in deathmatch. So next time you play deathmatch, try to get it to translate over to the game, like a comp yeah. game. And so saving your wall, again, this is a really uh, bad thing to do. It's... It's, Honestly, it's, I have to add one thing though, like, cause like this is my first game that I've played like today, so okay. I'm always like, like, it's always the first game is really hard for me as far as like confidence. 
Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I feel pretty like it's fair. still probably one of my largest weaknesses, but like it's not as bad as, as it as probably it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's not it's not actually as bad as I make it out to be. It's just never a good thing to to, to save your ult for like multiple rounds when you have it. Yeah. So, just I think the main problem for you is just not knowing where to wall and being afraid of putting one that would hurt your teammates more than it would hurt the enemies. Yep. So, basically, like let's just look here, right? Like the what would be a good wall? I mean, well, obviously, a good wall for attack is probably one we don't want to do on defense. So, going for attack is like cutting off this and then this, right yeah. and then just smoking this. So we probably don't want to do that. But what that's we... the one that I used, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, on yeah, on attack. Yeah. I think did you just yeah. use one? I think you just used one. I think I used one on both, maybe. Uh, no, I didn't. No, Actually, I... on defense, did I use it? No. I don't think I you did. did. I think you saved it till the end. You had it at the end. But basically, this is fine. This is what we're talking about. Putting it like, I don't know how to get out of this. Uh, X. Yeah. You can you can just put it like right here. And so the logic behind this is just because like they have to run out. Th imagine there's a yeah. smoke here. You can kind of imagine like if you want to use your ult, where where's a good place for me to smoke? And if 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 you find a good place for your where you can smoke, you could just wall it as well instead. And then also, remember that ulting goes through the whole map. So. Yeah. So you can see, this is really good. Like this can't really hurt your teammates. Um, even here at B, this is good. And it doesn't hurt mid. So it might hurt someone in events though. So you can be aware of that, but it can also help them. So this is good. Cause if they run out, they're going to have to be worried about a lot of things, right? Like they're gonna have to worry about all this stuff. And you can also get really creative with Astro Walls, but um, I think actually using them is going to be uh, a good starting point. So. I think, uh, I don't know. We could just go over some basic ones for attacking. And then, since you know those on attack, you probably shouldn't do those on defense, obviously. Yep. So, what do you think, what do you imagine might be a good one here for attack? Uh, probably, like, you know the box, like, default, where you plant the default? Yeah. So, basically, like, I'd probably cut off the backside completely. Or, like, from where you are right now, like, the left side of the side. Over so here? So, we just... Yeah, like, like right cut, here? No, go right. Right, right, right. Then probably like here. Here so. in the middle. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. Um. So but then again, like we're we're giving up the other the rest of the site, so we're like. We're yeah, but on. then again, if we get the spike down, it actually doesn't matter at all. The only thing you have to worry about is people pushing through the wall. But it's not like your team. It's not like your teammates aren't. I mean, if your teammates aren't expecting enemies, then that's pretty bad, right? Hopefully, we're all looking at the wall. So I'll go ahead and put the wall. Cause I actually don't actually, you know, I don't play Aster, so I don't really know um, walls as uh, any more than you do, really. So, see, so yeah, like a wall like this, this is fine. Because, like, I like, actually remember, like, I actually used the ult on attack like twice. The first time I, I fucked it up. But, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you can't shoot this. You can get the spike down. So you have this little L right here to get the the spike down. If your teammates are good, they're gonna be holding these angles because enemies will likely push through them but hopefully you can just kill them when they run through the advantage of using the wall is that you don't have to worry about any of this like you're not going to get shot because obviously they can't shoot through the wall you can't get flashed through the wall you can abilities can come through the wall other astro sucks can come through the wall but it's a pretty minor thing um that is going to add up a lot so yeah and also telling your team what you're going to wall or when you're going to wall Probably when you're gonna wall, honestly. Um, yeah. that, that's a calm you can learn to do. Since we're also, so like, one thing, like, uh, kind of, I'm just asking out of curiosity, but like, what button do you have, like, for the team chat then? Uh, mine's V for team yeah, chat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the default for have, Counter Strike. So. It's the same for me, but Feels I weird. always click the wrong button. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you have buttons on your mouse that you don't use? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Um, uh, honestly, I think, so you did say it's your first game, so I don't know, maybe, maybe you get more comfortable with over time, but it is definitely a weird spot to, to use, so. Another one is alt, I know some people use that. Yeah. Uh, it's a little closer to all these buttons that you're pressing normally, so that's an option. Um, okay, so, fake smokes, and by fake smokes, uh, that actually means two things, right? So, yep. what comes to mind when you think fake smokes? 
we're basically just putting down smokes and then like in the in the hope that the enemy will think that we're pushing that side i guess exactly so if i were to smoke these things right here yeah. the enemies like if, so say we've been making a lot of noise um b main or mid they're yeah they're probably gonna expect also these smokes are bad by the way um they should yeah. this should be farther in it's just weird because i'm not used to putting stars down so, yeah, I tried to I tried to do so that it's like right on the edge, but like, like you said, like it's just like this. Learned how, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you, you probably do better than I do because I, like I said, I'm not an Astro player by any means. But I have played against a lot of annoying Astros. So, yeah. so this is a fake smoke. This could be used um, if you're quick enough to think about it. You can do this it's whenever you want to rotate. Yeah. What do you say? No, it was like that. Kind of like um, suggests a mid. Yeah, mid, mid to B, yeah, exactly. Because, like, if you smoke this, it suggests that you don't want people to, from CT to C. And this suggests that people are coming into B heaven, kind of. So, so it, you're right. So it's, like, about what the smoke is suggesting. That's a good way to see it. So another thing that fake smokes mean on Astra is, so you put this down. And so you take F to bring it back, or whatever it is for you. Oh, yeah. And it's actually yeah. also technically a fake smoke, so. Yeah. Um, and so this you can, is... You can, I've, I've like one time only got like a cool play where like, I put it on like A, on the A side, you know? Yeah, back here. Like I, I put a fake smoke and then I caught someone like trying to go to the other side. Of yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So that's really good. Um, so this, you can do it like that to make people think that they're safe and then they're actually not because it disappears. Or you can do something like this where you pretend to actually smoke this. You probably shouldn't smoke this on defense, but... Yep. Um, I don't know, say that say this, this is just the play, you, so you do this, and then they think it's smoked, so they're all going to be like walking up toward here, and then actually you're in the middle, ready to spray them down, so obviously that's a bit more of an aggressive play, which is actually fine to do, and- Uh, yeah, since I play Viper, that's like, kind of like the, I believe oh, they the, orb. the swoop peak. Yeah, yeah, like I this. know what you mean, yeah. Yeah. So, this is something, we can also do something like this right here. Yeah. Um, so another thing I noticed was you actually smoked a lot of times that I would have prioritized using my pull first. So like yeah. mainly when they're right here. Um, so like say I see, I don't know how often you're looking at the minimap, but if you, if you think they're coming out B or like your team says, or you can actually see on the minimap that they're like right here, instead of smoking, yep. it's better to suck right here first. Because yeah. that's gonna definitely get your team some kills. You had a you had a suck that got two people, so very good job on that one. That's what I really love to see. And then you can still smoke this, and you can also save it for retake. Like, that's the nice thing about having stars is this is just here, right? Like, if you're rotating, and then yeah. now now the spikes down, the enemies pushed up here. This is just here for you to use whenever you really need, and now you don't have to worry about this. Just clear sight. Um, Again, I'm gonna go ahead and emphasize that you should be using your stun um, in addition to using your pull because it's basically a pull, but it's just like a it's like a big circle that it stuns in it yeah. instead of so like if they're coming out and you don't have your stun or you don't have your pull, you can just use your stun instead and peek off of it because people um, people get pretty disabled by that. It's very hard for them yeah. to use um, like guns and stuff. So insta break wall, sage wall mid. Um, the way that I do this, it's automatic for me. So if the wall goes down, I basically instantly run out to see if she's on top of the wall. And then if not, I'll just start spraying it down. And then maybe I'm expecting her to come out if she's an aggressive sage. But I'm basically trying to break the wall as soon as possible. So that, because if, if we leave this wall mid, the reason it's bad is because it basically allows them to put less energy and effort into defending mid because the wall is doing all the work for them so like we can just if, if i'm sage and this is walled no one's shooting it or knifing it i could just put all my attention into b so if we shoot this the sage at least the sage has to be watching mid like this from somewhere yeah. obviously not just from here it could be here 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 but that's the reason we want to break it you don't even have to push mid off of it but breaking it's always good yeah so i think you I mean, said that play... you break it but yeah I play Sage quite a bit as well, so it's yeah. on this map especially. Yeah, Sage is really good on this map, because mid. 
And also, on this map, the Sage, you can wall... You can wall here and... A main wall is actually really good. People don't know about it, though, to be honest. You'll see high rank players do that pretty often. Um, not, not like every run. Like, usually, you want to wall mid, right? Like, pretty much yeah. most of the time. I mean, I'm guessing they'll take the orb as well from there, or... From here? Yeah. yeah, you can do that. So like the the idea is like you wall mid every round and then the team gets the enemy team gets fed up with pushing mid because yeah. you make it too hard, and then you ask your team or you tell your team I'm gonna come wall a main. Can someone take my mid spot? And then you just yeah. wall here. And yeah, if they're not breaking the wall, just grab the orb. And if they are breaking the wall, slow orbs and they're still fed up with you because you're everywhere they go. So yeah, yeah. same thing applies B main, but it's better A because I don't I don't know. I just I think it's. I mean, I think it's all pretty equal, cool, but A feels a little better. So, back to Astra, or just back to the game we just played. So in spawn here, I, I think it's probably mainly because it's your first game and also you're in a session. Um, you would sit and spawn and buy. Do you think you normally do this or not always? Uh, when I saw the queue, I do it more often. When we have a team, like, when I'm playing with my friends, they're like, all right, let's rush B. Or you're moving around, yeah. Or like this. So... This can be something that you try to practice, is just whenever you're buying, try to just like hold W in the direction that you want to push, and then... That being said though, I'm just so used to just running behind my team, so that might also be a bit, yeah. if that makes sense. So if your team's going somewhere together, you just run to wherever they're going, or if your team's split up, just go somewhere, and if everyone's sitting at spawn, then you pick somewhere to go, because... Sitting at spawn at the start of the round, I can tell you, is just not going to get you anywhere. Um, it doesn't really matter where. What you want to do is, even if you just throw, like, one smoke, this is applying pressure that the enemy has to respect. So, like, if you smoke this, and there's only one player mid, there's a good chance someone else is going to come help, or someone's going to come into the smoke and, you know, sit here and wait. Yeah. So, that's, and then if you're, if they also peek mid and see you here, one, you have a chance to get a kill, but also, it just kind of reinforces the fact that you're mid. Even if they just see one person, they're gonna believe there's probably more just because of the smoke. It's kind of natural human instinct. Yeah. Um, so, pull instead of smoke, we already said that. Um, slow at using Astro Stars. So, this refers to a couple of things. Um, again, Astro's a, a complex character to use. If you really do want to master her, I think it's really good for you because she's broken. But by that, I mean, this kind of relates to running out of spawn as well, but like, Whenever the round starts, you want to think, how many stars should I put in which place? And um, you just want to be putting these down, right? I think I agree still that putting them like this is really good. This is also pretty good. And then you can just save one. And if they're not coming, if they're coming hard B, for example, you just pick these up. And then smoke. And then if you see them on the map, you can pull. And then also this refers to how quickly you smoke and how quickly you pull. So if they're showing on B and... You're kind of running over. Uh, at least smoke for your teammates that are towards sight, and if they're coming out, suck for your teammates. I know it's it's a lot. It's kind of like multitasking a lot of things, but that's those are the things you're gonna want to focus on. Um, I'm gonna write down multitasking. So, any questions about any of this so far? Hmm. Not really. I mean, it's a lot of information as well at the same yeah, time. But. Yeah, it is. That's why I, I put on YouTube and I give you timestamps for everything. Yeah. Makes it easy to go back and... yeah, Like, obviously, you're not going to remember every single thing that I'm telling you right now. But hopefully, some of the main points will stick. Like, you know, yep. yeah, uh, know. sucking, sunning, for those sure. types of things. Walls. Um, I feel like, like everything, this will just improve the more I play as well, I guess. Yeah, for sure. The biggest thing, the biggest takeaway for this is trying to learn to build your confidence. And this is a, a problem for a lot of players. It's very easy to focus on the things that you're doing wrong um, yeah. and have like a bad mentality over it. But if you focus on the things you're doing wrong and you try to improve them, it's going to change your game entirely. And also don't feel bad when you make mistakes. Just, you know, like I still make yeah. absolutely dumb mistakes and, and I'm most people consider me to be pretty good. But... You know, I still make really dumb mistakes, and yeah, yeah it can be frustrating. So I mean, I, I mean, I know that because uh, I mean, I haven't played any FPS games like competitively, but I played another entirely different game to quite the high level. But what game do you play? Rocket League. <laughs> oh, okay. Were you like the highest rank? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can, um, I don't know, there's definitely probably not much overlap between the physical, like, gameplay of, But I like, definitely the understand, like, the, like, it's a long journey to, like, completely mastering a game. You know? Yeah, yeah, Even that's, that's like... what I was gonna say, like, there, there are, there are overlaps in the mentality that you can apply to this game at getting good. Like, yep. um, I don't know what specifically, like, maybe, I don't know, were you ever stuck in a rank in Rocket League or something, or something like that? Not really. Okay. I honestly, I've never played Rocket League, but I kind of, I might yeah. play it someday. I, do, <laughs> I actually do have it, but, um, did you play with a controller? I played with a controller, yeah. I think most people do. Um, yeah. I mean, you can play with a keyboard and mouse as well. It's harder. Really that much yeah, that's it's, what I it's, it could be harder, but like, the well, main reason is just because the original game before it was on PlayStation. Yeah. So like all the professionals were like used to playing controller. Yeah, so it seems like it'd like, be easier. Oh, controller as well. is so much better. Yeah. I think I think it is a little easier, but there are professional players that are keyboard and mouse as well. So it's, okay. Yeah. It's, it's not like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you ever feel stuck in this game, just tell yourself that you have the ability to, you know, become a high rank. Because, I mean, yeah. yeah, this is a different genre, and it's arguably maybe harder than Rocket League. I don't really know, but. It doesn't really matter. Definitely, it like as for as much as brain power goes, definitely. It's yeah, there's a lot going on, right? Like, know. even if it's not necessarily quote unquote harder, I think it's not very good to compare games like that. But there's yeah. a lot of new things that you're learning in this game, and like even just this screen alone is confusing to new players. So. Yeah. Um. You did mention also like that I don't need to feel bad if I'm like bottom fragging or something like that, but like <laughs> honestly, at this point, like. I'm almost like 95% of the time I'm bottom frag, so it's nothing new. It's nothing? Okay, good. That's good. I mean, it's not good that you're bottom fragging every game. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if, if you focus on being support, pulling, things like that, your assists are going to go up, and then over time, you can, you know, pull, and then off of your pull, you can peek. People will get stuck in this, and it's just a free kill if you're ready yeah. for it. And by by the way, what I meant by playing back sight is like this. Yeah. yeah. And then you have the pull. And then it's okay to peek off of this because yeah. I'm just I used to when I played Omen I'd often go back here. And then I like TP to the other side. Yeah. This shit. spot's always really good. Even if you pull and then you don't peek like this. And you yeah. can just wait like this. This is really good. Because yeah. uh, eventually they're gonna come up, they might not check this. And yeah. So the last yeah. thing that I wrote down was don't group with teammates in some scenarios. This is pretty much only referring to whenever it's like a 4v1 or a 3v1 or whatever. So like, it's very, it's like, first thing that comes to mind is like pack mentality. You want to like group up and run with your team. Yeah. So like there's, you have three people here. I remember, and I think you had Spike. And then this is whenever you guys destroyed them on B. And so you're just kind of sitting here. And it, I think the Sage is like up here. It, I'm talking about that round. So instead of going here, I would probably come and watch Heaven. Because yep. I don't want something catastrophic to happen, and I don't want to be flanked and someone to kill yeah. like all of us from behind. And yeah, basically, main, just re be main reason why main reason I went with him was like I didn't want to like give him like one v one. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't necessarily have to give him one v one. You just want to see if he's here, pretty much. Of course, like another thing I could have done to make it easier, like I could have just when I immediately when I saw him from the map that he was there, I could have suck. Stun, yeah, yeah, that's that you can never go wrong with that to be honest yeah. um, It's so like when you push honestly, I think it might be better if you don't have spike like if sage can have spike Because okay. really like think oops thinking of thinking about going in on a over here uh, yeah. we, we put our smokes here here But so if we have spike we have a lot of things to worry about like we put this down We're already not moving and our team's going in or hopefully they're yeah. going in so he smoked these oh. things. One thing was okay. Just say first. I was just yeah. gonna say, um, like if you don't have spike, you can you can place like these types of pulls, yeah. right? And then you don't have to worry about planting the spike, and you can do this for your team. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was like, what would you say? Like, say I smoke uh, a a like CT and yeah. then heaven. But then everyone goes to like ref like up ramps into heaven. Yeah, so no this is this is where comms are nice. Like, yeah. so if if you think your team's not gonna um, 
go to site, then you might as well not even bother smoking heaven, to be honest. But it, like, you if you're if that's if you're not willing to communicate, um, if you want, how about, to how about if we rushing like uh, heaven? Like, is there any smokes that are good for that? Um, or, or if you're going up here, you, yeah. yeah, you can just. I mean, really, you want to go? You want to smoke this for sure because that's where people yeah. peek from a lot. And then yeah. careful here, and then like right here, anywhere. Um, but really, if someone's gonna, if someone on your team is gonna peek here, you can just kind of play reactively based off of the mini map and see where they are. Usually, yeah. like right here is probably pretty good. Also, like right here is pretty good because people like to sit behind this wall. Back here, this is also spammable, by the way. Um, but yeah, you can pull this. Um, yeah, it's done a lot. Like you don't have to do. I would again play reactively. It's very easy yep. to waste your stun and pull, but try to use them. Like if you're pushing a site, it's a little bit different just cause like you're pushing no matter what. And mm -hmm. if someone's sitting in this corner, it's gonna be really bad. So if you if you guarantee that no one's there by using the, the stun or pull, then that's pretty pretty good. But if yeah. if you're going up here, they can, this is a pretty big and you're not gonna push here most likely. You're just, you're just trying to take fights to go site. Yeah. So you can just use a, a pull for whenever your teammates see them on them and it shows up on the minimap. How would you say like, say we were like trying to take A, like which, but we also want to take heaven at the same time. Is it like splitting like say three to site or two to heaven? Or the, other way the way this works is, so if you, if you, and so say we're not doing the like ramp thing. Same thing honestly on B, like mid and yeah. B main. Like, so how would you say that this go, again goes back to the habit of you all, like, so if you want to get your team to go site, what you want to say is, I'm gonna smoke, or you can say, uh, guys, go A-site, I'm gonna smoke for us, or something like that. So that it, it really, the way that you word uh, how how you calm is like really important. So yeah. if you just say, let's go A, or you guys wanna go A, if you word it as like a question, it, it's like open-ended, so they don't really have to listen to it. But if you I say- I heard you say that in like- A different video, yeah. A different video, yeah. So if you say it like, all right, guys, let's go. A, I'm going to. It's, it really goes into like the psychology of how people interpret things. If you like people, people aren't gonna just ignore you if you say I'm gonna wall A, I'm gonna ult A. Like people are very very likely to follow that. Like I'm gonna wall A. Let's let's uh, you know I'm gonna stun whatever. Like it doesn't matter what you say. Just say basically you're gonna use your abilities to come out A. And then so f to answer your question, you usually don't want anyone to go up ramp. You don't. Well, let me re rephrase that. You don't need anyone to go up ramp. Um, if anyone goes up, it's usually just one person and it's just for kills. Or like, it's usually like a duelist to lurk. Um, Cause you don't need, you don't need control of this area to plant the spike. Especially if you're gonna smoke this. So one thing you have to worry about is the walkout here. I do this play a lot where as Reyna, I'll just run through, kill one and then dismiss away. So, um, yeah. ow, there goes my ankles. But you usually can just have four people run out here and one person, if you want to be the one person to lurk, that's actually okay. Because like you said, you like to put double sucks on the spike so you can maybe play off site for that so you can live to actually do that. So if you're going to do this play, what you want to do is um, usually you can sit like this because if you peek from up here, it's just giving them a chance to take a fight. Although you can sit behind this box like this and this is actually really, really strong because what happens is people people come from here and from here and from spawn and then they'll check to see if anyone's here and they're like okay there's no one people in low ranks don't spam boxes like ever so what they're gonna do is shift their attention towards site look around and then after after like a few seconds after you hear them shooting towards site you're just gonna slowly peek t take a some patience see if there's some people here and just try to kill as many as you can and if you don't want to play that aggressive in heaven, you can just sit right here or even over here. Because again, you have your, your pull and you have your stun. So it's not entirely necessary to play on site as Astra always, but you can of course as well. Yeah. So does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. And also you asked for B. Yep. Um, so, so are you asking like, like splitting B pretty much? Yeah, so like, say if we go B, like I just smoke like mid top, and then maybe heaven the back, right back there. side, you know, and then CT. So, so we go right there. Yeah, right there. Um, yeah. yeah. So actually, you don't really need to smoke CT always. 
Um, that's because people don't normally peek. Like, the way that they change this map is like sitting right here is kind of bad. Like, see, you can you can yeah. see people from heaven now. So, I mean, yes, they can't fight you from here, but I would reserve smokes for yes here and here. And if you really want to use the third star, you can put one here. Like, say you do these two, and then one kills you from here or something, then you can just always smoke this. But you can kind of be experimental with that one. Definitely want say to smoke we, here, always. Say we do a push like this, like, how, how many players would you commit for, like, those pushes? You know? Are you talking about from B main and from mid? B main and mid? Like, yeah, so so there's three... I'm guessing, like, Sage would go from B main and Wallet, maybe as well? Yeah, so... Th yes. This is... I think you're giving your teammates a lot of credit. You notice that your teammates kind of just did whatever they want. Um, yeah. So, but for, for higher ranks, uh, one of three things can happen. Everyone can go... Uh, B, believe it or not, everyone will just run out. We'll wall. We'll take some aim fights, flash, check all the corners, um, and then mid doesn't really matter. Um, that's one of the three ways. Another way is th well, also the downside of going five B main is that you pretty much give them free reign to shoot you from heaven and try to like mow you down. So that's the downside to that one. You can also go five mid, which is that's probably the best play to do on this map is to just push mid. That's why I asked you to go there a bunch, and also I wanted you to start from sewers some of the time, because it gives you a slight edge on people, because they don't really... Usually, if you're mid, you're probably going to expect them to be right here, right? Like, most of the time, yeah. anyway. So you can just you can just as easily start here, and if your team is starting mid, you're not really that far from them, so it doesn't it's not that big of a deal. Um, but, yeah, the advantage of going... Like you can actually lurk with Astra as well quite a bit, right? Because like you can technically smoke for a team. Yeah, yeah, you, you can lurk on anyone. Um, it's it's probably gonna be you wanna wanna pr probably do it pretty situationally though, like only sometimes on Astra, because you, being with your team is also good. I mean, always on any character really, and it, especially if you have other lurking people. But pushing mid as five is really good. You'd smoke this, smoke here, clear out heaven. And then now you just have sight, clear, ha clear hell. Again, you can just aim right here. You don't really need to smoke it. And so the downside of this is that players on B can have already pushed into B main. And that makes it a little problematic for you. And also it's a little more annoying because they can be here, here, and then back sight. But also you don't really need to commit to B from up here. You can just rotate away after you get some kills, something like that. So if you were to split, I would suggest probably either three B 2 mid or 2 mid 3b um i i would probably just try to go for a, f a full push if you're going to do this yeah just because especially in your rank it's going to be hard to coordinate that until you get better at calm calming maybe and i do really want you to put effort into that mm -hmm. um as your confidence builds that's again the biggest thing the biggest takeaway from this whole session is your confidence and basic communication with your team yeah. um of course, the little thing, smaller things include like sucking, pulling, walling, stuff like that. Um, and also, I mentioned buy down to 3900 credits. Um, or, no, so this min next round, are you aware of that? Uh, what? So, this stands for minimum amount of credits that you'll have next round. Yeah. 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 So, you can buy down to whatever this says until it says 3900. Yeah. That's what I do quite often. Yeah. Except I try to, especially in Astra, I use, usually like maybe save a little so I can have stars as well. Or yeah. Abilities. Yeah. So but that's that's the, the main thing. Also buy, like you said. Yeah. Earlier round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it's just not don't easy. don't buy weapons down below the or down to thirty nine hundred, but you can buy these because like say you're in an eco round, at the start of the round you're not very likely to win, but say somehow miraculously it's a two v one. Yeah. And you don't you only have one start because you didn't buy them, right? Obviously, yeah. it's worth using them here Even if you're not gonna have even if you're gonna have like not gonna have as many stars next round It's still completely yeah. worth because you're gonna win the round Yeah um, So yeah, th that's that's all I really meant by that, but um, yeah. Otherwise your buys were well your buys were weird, but that's because your team was buying weird. So Sometimes it might be worth not buying a specter and just buying like a sheriff armor stars and then playing back yeah. and trying to pick up a teammates weapon and you can buy the next run, full buy the next run, I mean. Yeah. So, um, I would like to wrap up soon. Yep, I, we can answer some final questions, though, if you have any uh, last ones. 
Honestly, right now, I don't really have anything. But like, say if I watch this video, I kind of still ask questions if I come yeah, up with something like that. Yeah, you can just uh, DM me and I'll ask or I'll answer whatever questions. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and send you, I wrote everything that I wrote down. Um, right. And I put stars next to the important things, or what I think are the most important things. Sorry for my bad handwriting. But That's what I did. It, it's uh, readable at least. So, but yeah, you you played a, a you impressed me the second half. To be honest, with your your pulls, you adapted pretty well. Um, yeah. So keep trying to do those types of pulls and stuff with your utility. Use your walls. Just try to, if you really are still struggling to use walls, go into a custom game and just imagine what would be good when people are pushing on defense or on attack, whatever. Um, and yeah. So uh, hopefully it was useful. Um, I think you can get plot. Honestly, within like a month or something like that, within that that time frame, especially knowing that you um, hit the highest rank in Rocket League, even though they're completely different games, mentalities, yeah, yeah. you know, like kind of similar. Yeah, I, I mean, that's that's that was my goal to like hopefully hit plat this act. So. I think you can, yeah. You could even do it in a few weeks, depending on how much you play. But yep, yep. all right, um, anything else? Uh, nothing else except like because I was thinking like booking another session. Yeah, um, I like would maybe suggest playing Sky instead. Oh, okay. Next time. Sure. I would so, suggest like, playing a few games, work? um, sitting yeah. with this information Before. for a little bit because, like you said, yeah. it's a lot of information I'm throwing at you. Yeah. But like maybe a few days or, or not a few days, like a week or like a week and a half. Yeah, I was weeks. thinking like maybe in a week or something. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. just just DM me. I'm I'll message back pretty frequently. Like, right. pretty yeah, quickly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this this video will go up today, but it'll be later because I have another session to post first. Okay. But yeah, do yeah. you have any idea when it will? Because it's already 9 p.m. for me, so I'll probably see it tomorrow. Yeah. So. Um. I. Th yeah, it'll probably be like two or three hours from now. So, yeah. and the, when I post it, the quality is bad because it takes a long time to process. Yeah. yeah sadly. That's... But all right. Yeah, you'll see it tomorrow. I'll send it to you on Discord. All right. Yes. But uh, yeah, good job. I will. I'll talk to you later. You have a good night. Thanks. Yep. See, See you. you. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. Coaching sessions back to back. If you guys want a coaching session, DM me on Discord, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.